Anybody from Gilmer before? Gilmer County? Um, they're still pretty good, but they had a guy named Walt Monroe. Uh, the head coach at the time was Sam Snyder, but they had a guy named Walt Monroe that, that handled their club and like their youth. Real big, like Granby Shrug. Uh, they were real good at the Wayne's role. Now, Wayne's role is a little bit different, but it's the same kind of mechanics, all right? And we can use it in a couple different scenarios, but we're gonna get back to this kind of busted Peterson position, all right? But we're gonna attack the front leg. So this is what's gonna happen. Partner's gonna be in referee's position, okay? We're gonna drape over the top and get him our wrist, all right? But we're gonna step up in front, okay? So instead of him hooking behind my leg, and, and collapsing my heel forward, okay? And either pivoting off the elbow or sitting back, okay? We're gonna attack the front leg. But when he attacks the front leg, he's gonna knee slide, near knee under. He's gonna knee slide, near knee under, and he's gonna attack the front leg. Now, when he attacks the front leg, I like kind of snaking down to the, to the sock. You can play it where, where you wanna attack the leg. Now he's gonna pivot off his elbow. He's gonna look back into me. Same, same method. Notice, once he started getting to his butt, he switched back down to the bottom leg so we can feed the hungry hand and get to our position to score. So, only difference of hooking back or continuing with our Grammy and sitting through on our shoulder roll and attacking the leg that's closest to us, we're gonna go to the front leg. So that's gonna be our first drill. He's gonna drape, he's gonna step up in front. Okay, I want you to really focus on outside step, knee sliding to it. Notice I really brought my body to it. I don't want you sitting back here grabbing the leg, okay? So we're gonna step up. Even if you need to post and slide to it, I'm okay. Remember, the more parallel my spine is to the mat, this is zero power. I start getting back to 100% power as I get vertical. So I'm trying to get spine pretty vertical. Now I'm rotating knee down, pivoting on my elbow, looking back in, and immediately switching the bottom leg, feeding that hungry hand. Right? But when we put it all together, in this situation where our shoulder roll Grammy, he half floats and then steps up in front to try to secure his base, that's when we're gonna go to our Wayne's roll. So he chucks, shoulder roll right here, right to this position. I, I, I don't want this leg or I can't get it. Post knee slide. Lead front leg. Now I got the wrist. Notice I'm still stepping up. Don't just stay on two knees and try to go sideways here. This guy will sprawl on you and we'll get crushed, okay? I want you to attack, step, rotate. Look how far I'm rotating out in front. I'm loading him up on my hips and then coming back in, in for the wrist, okay? A lot of times you'll see this position off of him trying to spin around and go behind and drape early. He might have me in a front headlock, okay? And he tries to spin around behind. He drapes with this wrist. Boom, catch him right here. Everybody see that? Boom. Okay. So this Wayne's roll is pretty, pretty versatile in a sense. If, if I have wrist control and they have legs out in front or legs behind, I can start working that position. Okay. So we're going to Grammy. He's going to float. He's going to leave that leg up in front. Here. Just now look at this position right here. See that leg in front? Oh, slide to it. Okay. I like snaking down to the sock. Higher up on the leg, the stronger he is. Okay, I like kind of pulling here. Knee's gonna post out, elbow's gonna go further. See how I got him loaded up on my hips right now? I got good pivot points to score. Feed that hungry hand, attack that head, scissor those legs down, right back up to my fall every time. So again, it's post, slide to that lead leg. Wrap down to the sock, step, pivot. Sit back up, switch bottom leg. Questions? Let's get it, go.